Somebody asked me the other day what I was proudest of in my life, and I said installing the Korean Comfort Women statue in our church grounds. And the reason for that was because those women had nothing. Those women were suffered and tortured and God knows what else, exploited for years. And then when they went home, so many of them were not welcomed back into the families. So not only were they abused and used, but when they came back, they were rejected. A comfortable woman has got the meaning of warmth and tenderness, but a comfortable woman, they're the victim of rape. That was systematically committed by Japanese military government during the war time. They suffered enormously and they're a voice, they're, they're the voiceless. I can, I can, in my head, I can hear the cries of those women as they told their stories. So it's the proudest thing I've done. And what's happened is, because we've done that, it's become a centre of, of Korean cultural life. So that whenever there's anything goes on in the Korean community, or whenever there's a historic cultural event, it's performed around the statue. And I am so proud to be part of that. So many women suffered in that time and they deserve to have a voice. Many of them must have died feeling all alone and abandoned by everybody, but they haven't been abandoned. Things like this that happened to these women must never ever happen again. And we know it's happening today in the Middle East. We know it's happening in different countries where women are being bought and sold and, and used as sex slaves. And this has to stop. And the only way it stops is when the oppressors admit that they did wrong and apologise. talking about this for a long time, but officially in 1991, I suppose, one of the, uh, the courageous lady, uh, the victim, came out and started to talk about her own experience at the Japanese military sexual camp. After that, the hundreds of victims came out, start talking about the issues. And um, still the government trying to refuse to listen.
I simply say that we have just begun. This event is a true Korean cultural event, so that the the memorial to the comfort women allows memorials to be for other events as well in Korean history. I remember we had the parents of a ferry that had capsized and hundreds of kids had died. And this um, mother came here whose daughter had drowned on the ferry. And she said she came here and she saw the poor getting fed and for the first time her heart felt warmed a bit. We've got the children here who are putting butterflies on a large painting in memory of all the children who died. And we're going to put it up on the wall in, in the Exodus Hall in constant memory because hundreds of those children died. The mother who came here, her daughter was on the phone to her father as she drowned. Just imagine the pain in that. So, so.